Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all doing well. Today we're gonna to be riding and reviewing one of Giant's brand new gravel bikes, the 2020 Giant Tough Road SLR GX2. Let's get into it. Alright, so I picked up this giant tough road about a month ago and I've already put on 500 kilometers on it on the dirt gravel road So I've gotten a good feel of what this bike can and cannot do So first off this thing is low-key a beast and handles well in all terrain It's honestly the perfect bike for someone who's into road biking and wants to dabble into some off-roading Do some trail riding or some super long treks. It's the perfect cross in between or it's also great for like a newbie who doesn't know whether to get a mountain bike or a road bike but they want to get into cycling. You kind of get as close to the best of both worlds with this thing within a fair price point. Alright so pretty much everything on this bike is designed to be just like a road bike except for these tires. You got these thick gravel tires that make going off road or on any trails a breeze. Also you don't lose much speed on the road except for when you're climbing hills. That's the only time I've noticed a difference coming from a road bike. Now I'm sure you guys can all guess or assume what separates this from a mountain bike but obviously there's zero suspension so you can't be hitting no jumps or getting too gnarly with this thing. But anyways let's get into the specs. So the frame is a lightweight Alux aluminum frame. And you got these advanced grade composite forks followed by this beautiful giant contact XR drop bar. The tires are 700C giant tubeless tires, which allow you to run a lower tire pressure for comfort and traction, plus reduce the risk of flat tires. The rims are just giant GX28 alloy rims. We got a defuse seat post, which absorbs road vibration and helps minimize fatigue during long journeys. Let's get into the brakes. The brakes are just Tektro 160 millimeter mechanical disc brakes. The brake levers are Shimano Claris. Also the shifters, derailers, and all the gears are also Shimano Claris. The casket is 11 by 34 eight speed. There's a ton of integrated rack mounts which allow you to stock up and load up on cargo for long journeys. And then finally, you got this X Defender down tube which covers up all the wires, but it's kind of bulky and I might take it off, so we'll see. All right, well enough talk. Let's mount up and get into some riding. Woo! All right, so I switched it over to uh, the head cam to try and get a better POV, so hopefully this looks a little better and shows what this thing can do. Got a nice little sand section here that you can really rip. So we're gonna truck it through this. You get up to over 30 kilometers an hour on this part here. It absolutely flies. anything it really holds up well um, don't get me wrong I wouldn't mind having a bit of suspension but you don't feel like uh, it's harming your bike by going over these things really it's just more comfort right but for trail riding this thing is just absolutely perfect like look at this just coast through these trails Brakes are squeaky, gotta fix that, man. Really bothering me.
Nice little gravel section. Getting everything dirt gravel. Show you what this thing's all about. And we're about to head up to a nice road section as well to really show you how quick this thing goes. But honestly, just look at this, just rips right through any kind of trail. Oh my god, that brake is really bothering me. You can just fly through this gravel like it's road. trail starts to come and I can really show you how fast this thing goes. Guess I'm gonna open up uh, Strava so we can see the stats. All right, so we're going 22 right now, just on the gravel. And I'm not pushing at all. I'm just literally cruising, so. If I was putting out like two, 300 watts, I'd just be cooking through this. I so here's the road section here where you can absolutely fly and hit some insane speeds man. Uh, got a little grinding going on with the gears. Uh, here we go. Let's rip it. Oh, Strava, we're up to 28. It's a little glitchy. Four kilometers an hour. Just pushing through this trail. Just flat beauty. I love this section here. Wow. 35 kilometers an hour. Still early in the morning, so there's not too many people on the trails. But usually these trails are pretty packed. I left my house at about eight this morning to get out here. Or sorry, what am I saying? I left my house at six. It's eight right now. So. There's one more little section I wanted to take you guys through. All right, so we're gonna push it through this nice little trail here. This one's a little uh, complex and we gotta definitely ride the brake quite a bit on this trail, so ignore the squeaky brake. But this is a really fun little section here, a little technical section. It gets quite rocky. But as you can tell, this thing handles itself very well. But right here is where you want, definitely want to ride the brake. Sorry for the squeaking, guys. It'll be all over soon. Got a nice technical rock section here. Nothing for these gravel tires. Look at that. Right to the lake. Doesn't get much better than this. Come on. All right, we're just gonna go for a little uh, lap around that lake here. It's a nice little scenic route. Nothing too crazy. But uh, in a minute I'll take you guys over to uh, some nice gravel sections and roads where you can really see the speed and power of this thing. Yeah, it's quite beautiful here. And uh, coming from a road bike I wasn't able to do this before so it brings back some childhood memories. Mountain biking. And whatnot. I was super into dirt jumping when I was a kid, but kind of grew out of it. But now I'm loving this again. Been biking about 150 kilometers a week so far. If you guys want to follow me on Strava, it's Evan Lindy. Um, yeah, just encourage each other and uh, keep it all going because the cycling community is quite excellent. That's a little bridge. No problem for the tough road. This thing handles so well. 
beautiful. All right, so unfortunately we were having some GoPro issues on the trail. It kept saying no SD card and it kept cutting out. So it just cut out abruptly, sorry about that. But anyways, I'm back on my car now. I'm about to load it up. Um, all in all, this bike is a ton of fun. It was exactly what I was looking for for the price range. It meets my road cycling needs and it also lets me get out in the trails and I feel like a little kid again. I absolutely love it. 10 out of 10, I'd recommend getting this bike for the price range if you're looking for a gravel bike. It's really mint. Let's load this guy in the car now.